Welcome to another episode of my productivity series. In this episode, we're going to be talking about how you can utilize Evernote and Todoist together. Coming up next. So in this episode, we're going to be discussing how you can utilize Evernote and Todoist together in order to help you become more effective at completing your tasks. Now, with that being said, what do I mean by utilizing them together? They're two separate kind of programs. And if you've watched any of my other episodes on Todoist and Evernote, you'll know that Todoist is a to-do application and Evernote is a note-taking application. Well, you can utilize your Todoist application to uh, capture your ideas out of your head in, into the Todoist application, but also you can capture all your notes in Evernote. But you can link those together. Let's say, for instance, if you have some sort of task that you want to complete for the day in Todoist and you want it to jump over to your Evernote uh, note on that task. Maybe that's a, um, maybe you want to read a, uh, a note concerning the certain task that you might have, and you can link those together so it's easy, so you're not fumbling around in Evernote looking for a note that you might have written two or three weeks ago, and now that task is now come to fruition, and now you are actually going to complete that task today, and maybe wrote that note three weeks ago, instead of searching for that note, and maybe you don't remember what you called the note or what have you, you can create a link to that note and attach it to your to-do task. So when that day comes for that task to be completed, now you just click on that link inside of Todoist and it automatically forwards you to that Evernote note that you did on that, uh, that day, maybe a couple weeks ago, maybe even a couple months ago. So this is the cool thing that you can do with Evernote and Todoist by linking those two together and helping yourself become more proficient at completing your tasks. Because what's the point of capturing everything out of your head into Todoist if you're fumbling around for an hour or so trying to locate the note in Evernote, you might as well just go ahead and link those two together so it makes yourself a little bit more efficient. So with that being said, let's go into Evernote and Todoist right now and I'll show you what I mean. So here we are within Todoist for Mac. And I'm going to show you how to utilize Todoist and Evernote together. Right here is uh, my Todoist opened up. And you see I have it open up on the inbox. Well, like I was saying earlier, if you want to go ahead and associate a task with something that you have written inside of Evernote, and you want to be able to find that easily and be able to jump to that uh, Evernote um, note on whatever uh, that task is, then what you need to do is when you click on Add Task, there's a couple things you can do. Like, for instance, let's say, for instance, you uh, today said, you know, let me uh, write down this task. So you write down this task, Daily Ritual. Okay. And that's what you wanted to do, and you haven't decided that w when you want to do this. Maybe you want to do it every day, every, every week, but let's just say every day. Because it is a daily ritual, right? And you get add tasks. Now you've created that. And let's say the night before, uh, you have written down a whole bunch of stuff on it, or maybe you haven't written down anything on it, and you just came up with this idea today. So then later on tonight... You go ahead and you write up in Evernote, or maybe later on today you write in Evernote, what you want to be in reference to your daily ritual. So what you can do here is, is and let me go ahead and minimize this real quick, so I can show you here in Evernote. I have a um, Evernote uh, note that I created um, already for this episode. And here it is, daily routine, and it shows morning, wake up at 5 a.m. every day, complete the Wim Hof breathing exercise, have to take a cold shower, drink a cup of coffee, watch sunrise on the beach, and drink protein shake. Okay, so there's my morning ritual. Well, let's say when I am inside of Todoist, I want to link to this. 
Now, there's a few ways you can do it, and I'm not sure how it works in uh, Evernote for Windows. And I know it probably doesn't work for Evernote for the web version, but here we are with Evernote in the Mac. So if you have Evernote for Mac, what you do is you'd right click on the daily routine note here. You see where my cursor is at. You right click on it. And when you do, you can go down here to copy note link. Now, there's two things on this. If you hold down the option button, it'll change to copy classic note link. What does that mean? Well, you have two different options here. Copy note link or copy classic note link. If you just hit, hit copy note link, that's going to give you a note link that will access Evernote on the web. If you hold down the option and you click on, or left click on the uh, copy classic note link, that's going to open up your note within your uh, Evernote for Mac desktop version. Now, for most purposes, you can go ahead and click on copy classic note link if you're using this at home or what have you. But as I have found out uh, by utilizing um, my Todoist program for both work, uh, my day job, and my uh, personal life, is that when I utilize Evernote, I separate my Evernote personal and my Evernote business or my Evernote day job. So I have two different accounts with Evernote or two different accounts with Evernote as far as relating to my personal and my day job. So if you utilize the copy uh, classic note link uh, and use that in your Todoist and you want to pull that up, let's say you're at your day job on your work Evernote desktop application, it's not going to link it directly to your Evernote. So there is a little bit of a caveat with that. So I typically like to use the copy note link because even when I'm at work and I click on uh, that uh, task within Todoist, it'll take me to Evernote on the web and I can log in there to my personal account. Even though I got my work account opened up on my desktop Evernote, I can still access the note through the web. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and click on the copy note link here. And I'm going to go ahead and minimize Evernote. And we're going to go ahead and pull uh, Todoist back up. And so you see here, uh, the daily ritual, if you put that in parentheses, parentheses, where is it at? All right. And then if you go to the beginning of that and you just hit Command V to copy that in there and hit Save, now, as you see here, it has a little Evernote symbol here, and it has uh, the task here. But if you noticed here, it's all written out like this. You don't have any clue or idea what the heck it is, right? Well, the way you rectify that is, and I'll show you real quick here. Let me erase that out of there. Is you want to create a space, parentheses, the daily ritual, if I can spell, and before that space, you're going to put your link. And what this does is, when you hit save here, it now hyperlinks that daily ritual without all the useless babble about where it's going to. Okay, so it highlights that. So now, when that task comes up, and I'm like, Okay, I'm supposed to complete my daily ritual, but what the heck is my daily ritual? I've forgotten. Well, now you can click on this. It's going to open up the web here. And, of course, you got to log in. Yeah, yeah. And so now, let me get out of there. It's opened up this daily ri uh, uh, ritual or daily routine up here in Evernote. Now, if for some reason you know that you are never going to have to utilize uh, two systems at work or what have you. And you have your Evernote and your uh, personal and business all wrapped up into one. And you just use one Evernote account and one Todoist account. And that's all you're using. By all means, um, utilize the classic link. And I'll show you what I mean here. 
So make sure you utilize your classic link. Let's go back into Evernote. By right clicking and holding down the option button and hitting copy classic note link. Now, as far as I know, the copy classic note link only works with Evernote for Mac. I don't think it works for Evernote for Windows. Uh, but you, if you are, let's say, using Windows at work and you created this copy classic note link on your um, Mac at home, uh, when you click on it in Todoist, it will take you to that Evernote uh, link within the actual Evernote program itself. So let's click on that and let's go back into Todoist here. And what you do here is, like I say, at the beginning here, you're going to hit space, go back to the beginning of the space, not after the space, but beginning of the space, command V, and then hit save. And now when you when you get to that day or whatever and you want to look at this and you're like oh my gosh what was that daily ritual you can click on that and automatically as you see opens up that note within your evernote program and you know it's it's a little bit quicker uh by doing it that way because it opens it up directly within that program and it doesn't have to look for it on the web and you don't have to sign in and all this other stuff right so it's a little bit quicker but this is what I wanted to show you about utilizing your task within Todoist along with any kind of notes that you might have taken on Evernote. Now, granted, you, most of you are going to say, well, Jerry, there's a little comment thing here that you could have wrote out your tasks uh, uh, for that. Well, yes, that's true. But let's say, for instance, you're taking some notes in Evernote uh, for a project that you want to do, and it's a huge, long, massive uh, note on your project. You've got uh, uh, you know, pictures within there, links within there, and you've created all this stuff in Evernote, and now you've gotten to the point in your life that you want to tackle that project, you can now go into Evernote, create yourself, or I mean, go into Todoist, create yourself a task, and then relate that to that Evernote and not have to copy everything over into the comment section of your Todoist. So it's just an easy way for you to link those two together uh, in case you ever need to for completing your task or project. So that is Evernote and Todoist hooked together. So thank you so much for watching this video on Evernote and Todoist. I hope you got something out of this episode and if you did or even if you have some questions please don't be afraid to ask me down below in the comment section. Also if you like this video and you want to see more of these types of videos in the future, please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you are interested in receiving any notifications that I have released a new video, don't forget to hit that bell next to the subscribe button. And so with that being said, I want to wish you all an awesome day and let's become more productive. Thank you.